Hey guys, it's Steve again with EMS Ones. Remember two things. What I want to talk to you about today is something that I like to call scene presence. Scene presence is the term we use to talk about how we behave on scene, how we interact with other agencies, other caregivers, our patient, their family, especially when things either aren't going well or when it's a very stressful environment. Some folks are very talented at scene presence. Some folks are still developing that skill. I want to give you two things to think about when you're having that engagement on scene, your scene presence, or when you're trying to develop that skill. The first one is something that I'm going to call the illusion of control. What I mean by that is things don't always go perfectly on scene, do they? But we have an advantage, and the advantage is that patients don't run EMS calls every day. We do. So often when things aren't going quite right, we identify it immediately, and that can be very frustrating to us but the patient doesn't necessarily identify it at all. What they do identify is how we behave. When we start getting frustrated or angry about the way things are going, that's a red flag to the patient to be concerned that things aren't going quite right. The illusion of control means that when equipment didn't show up on scene that we wanted to show up or we didn't get the IV established or somebody's made a mistake, that we always try to move in a positive direction, looking for that positive outcome, doing the next thing that needs to happen instead of becoming frustrated or angry. Now sometimes we can't always maintain the illusion that everything's going great. If an IV bag falls out of your cabinet and lands on the patient's broken leg, we can't really say that that happens all the time. We can say, I'm sorry about that, I apologize for causing you pain, let's start working on getting you some pain control. We can just move right in a direction of looking for the positive outcome instead of having that moment of anger or visible frustration. The other thing that we can get angry about is sometimes things the patients say to us, right? Let's face it, not all patients are really appreciative of our care or glad that we're there taking them to the hospital. Something that I think is worth keeping in mind is none of that is personal. For anything, a patient say, uh, anything that a patient says to you, for that to be personal, they would have to know you personally. And for the most part, they don't. When patients say angry things to you, what they're doing is they're telling you about themselves. They're telling you about their own frustrations. They're telling you about how they're feeling. What is personal is how you respond. That's personal. So the next time you're on scene and you're, you're developing that scene presence, remember the illusion of control. Always move in a positive direction. And regardless of what the patient says to you, none of it's personal. I'm Steve Whitehead, and this has been EMS Ones. Remember two things.